We are in Chicago, Illinois, on the campus of Moody Bible Institute in historic Tory Gray Auditorium. And tonight is a piano recital that I have the privilege and honor of, of giving here for people that are important to me, uh, that God has given me as such a blessing in my life. My family, friends, students, colleagues, my church family, and others. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity to do that. Tonight, share the gift of music. And my prayer has been that it would bless the Lord, first and foremost, but also by His grace, bless other people as they hear the music, as we experience the music together. Every time I give a recital or performance, it's a test. It's a test in a lot of ways. It's a physical test, it's a mental test, um, and ultimately it's a spiritual test. And so I, I've been trying to, I'm still learning, still learning what it means to trust in the Lord with a musical performance, a recital, what it means to honor Him in my preparation and um, with the lights and being on stage and the focus on you, of course, you want the focus to be on the one who gives these wonderful gifts to us and so um, that's a good reminder for me <laughs> every time I, I perform. And then I'm ending with a piece by Franz Liszt, which I'm really excited to share. It's connected to John chapter four, uh, although the title doesn't say so. The title is about water fountains of a villa in Italy. Um, but Liszt was inspired to write it because of uh, John chapter four, uh, connecting the imagery of water to the story of Jesus um, and the woman at the well and the everlasting water that he gives.
blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. On his law, he meditates day and night. He's like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season. Its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked 